Yes, it is possible to run Windows 10 on this HP Compact NX7400. I just hope it'll install successfully in terms of the update to 2 2. Actually, it's not. My bad. Uh, 9926. That is the latest build that's available right now. Um, the It's currently setting up. Um, it only has a gig of RAM, so it's going to take a while. But to prove that it does work, here's a video of it in, right in front of here. I obviously don't have the lights on, so the screen won't look all glary, but it's almost done setting up. Um, thought I'd show anyone out here on YouTube or Facebook um, what this old eight, old nine-year-old uh, HP laptop from way back in 2006 was capable of. Um, I'm surprised that Windows 10 even runs on this thing after I figured out it supports Pay. It doesn't support Pay, but it supports NX and SSC2. So if it supports SSC2 and NX uh, bit, it'll be called something different in the BIOS if it does. Um, be sure that's enabled before you try this on any machine that has the NX bit capability. And make sure your system has SSC2 at least. Pay isn't required, it is optional. Um, I learned that the easy way just by trying to install via USB stick. Um, I personally just went and used my 16 gigabyte data traveler um, USB drive. Um, I took the base uh, Windows installation as in the um, first version of technical preview available, installed that, updated to um, 9879, and I took the data traveler USB stick, put the Windows Technical preview build 9926 uh, ISO on there. Didn't set it up as a bootable USB stick, but I just mounted the ISO from the USB stick and installed from there. Hopefully, it won't require me to enter the product key again, but if it does, I do have it handy so. If you guys are wondering, it's setting up right now as it as it shows up on the screen here. Um, this is a the Centrino model, um, clocked at 1.8 gigahertz. Um, everything works really good out of the box. Everything works fine except for sound. It doesn't really handle sound well. I've noticed. Um, otherwise, this works really well. Um, no complaints. Even though I've gotten very few blue screens. But this thing's old and I just used it for testing Windows Technical Preview. Um, it originally ran Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3. Um, it was my dad's old work laptop from way back in the day. Um, surprising that this thing is only like almost 10 years old and it's still holding up pretty good for the new windows so I assume it will run the it will be able to run the final um, release of the um, uh, of windows and um, this has been computer junkie 2013 signing off And the only reason I'm still here is to show you guys the rest of the setup process um, before I do sign off it officially. So I I just want to show you guys um, around as well a bit. I'll do that later in a later video. So yeah.
let this finish up slowly. I'll be sure to install um, Cam Studio or whatever it is to record the screen afterward. Um, yeah, um, just give it some time to boot up, at least get to the lock screen, and then I will cut off the video here, and I will get back with you guys when I've had my time with technical preview, and show you guys around the desktop. I'm recording this with my iPad, so sorry if I don't have a steady hand. It's kind of heavy. I do have cerebral palsy, so it is kind of difficult for me to record a video. But thanks to this new um, case I received uh, for Christmas last year, I previously had the previous generation of this case, and I couldn't record uh, um, video facing anything the um the little um cap on the case wouldn't allow me to um wouldn't allow me to um record video reliably so now that I have this new case I'm able to do that so Okay, I'll cut the video off here and let you guys know how it comes around in the comments if possible.